When Leader McCarthy asked me to be ranking member on the House Administration Committee in the last Congress, he told me to fix things around this Capitol, which is why, as he mentioned, we introduced the Capitol Police Advancement Act during the last Congress that would have increased transparency and accountability through semi-annual reports and addressing many of the issues that have been brought up for years in IG reports, GAO studies, and other different forms of communication with Congress. The Democrats chose not to advance our legislation to help our officers. And it's with great disappointment today that I don't get to question my friend Harry Dunn. And I don't get to talk to him about what he and heroes like David Bailey and Crystal Griner, officers that saved the lives of Steve and all of us on a baseball field a few years ago. We don't get to ask the questions that will lead to why there was not a better security posture here on the Capitol complex. Harry is a friend. Harry and I hugged each other when we saw each other in the Capitol after what happened on January 6th. Harry has been to my office to talk about these issues. He knows that all of us here want to address the institutional problems with the structure that is set up to fail. The structure here in the United States Capitol is that the chief of police cannot make a final security decision without going to political appointees that make up the Capitol Police Board, his or her bosses. They can't get the security posture where they think it is up to par before they have to go to political appointees. We've tried to fix this over the last few years, and the Democrats have stopped us every single step of the way. 